Hey, 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 Taurus, this is your Sacred Scribe here, ready to do your Monday, June 1st to the 2nd, Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for my Tauruses, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Taurus, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares subscriptions if you are interested in a personal reading with me the information ooh, can be found in the description box below all right i'm gonna pull four cards here then get a message from spirit for you let's see what's going on here wow okay We've got the world card at the bottom of the deck we have the Knight of Cups, the Star, the High Priestess, the Ace of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. Okay, all right, let's get this message for us. Hmm. interesting message i'm not sure what it means they're saying sweep yourself away in the wind can you elaborate please let yourself succumb to the universal forces that are around you I would say letting go, but it seems it's like deeper than letting go. It's, it's, what's the word? Spirit, what's the word? This, it's like being totally vulnerable to everything that, that's around you and within. It's the ultimate in letting go. Surrender. That's the word I'm looking for. Thank you. Surrender. Surrender to the universal forces around you and trust them. Okay. Wow, some deep shit. New cycle beginning. Somebody could be at a distance from you. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Why is this here? Un momento. coming in from out of the cold okay so i'm looking at these five of pentacles and i'm like well that doesn't it's like one of these things just doesn't belong here but somebody's coming in from out of the cold either you or another person that's you, you're getting a love offer either you're giving it or you're receiving it this is hidden from you right now but it's a huge offer that's coming to you there's healing involved with this. So this leads me to believe that it is somebody from the past. Now, this is the card of Aquarius, right? We've got Gemini Pisces here. All right, let's do some clarifying. Let's look into this a little bit. Yeah, somebody's coming in from out of the cold and taking a leap of faith. So... You could have ghosted somebody. Somebody could have ghosted you, okay? Because this is a ghosting card. It's a poverty card, but it's also a ghosting card. Where it's like somebody's locked you out, right? But somebody's coming in from out of the cold and taking a leap of faith. So, all right, you may receive a message with the Page of Pentacles here. Clarify the Knight of Cups. Ooh, ten of, ten of wands. This Knight of Cups is releasing something. What is what is being released? Ah, and we have the World card. Something's being something's ending, so a new cycle can begin, and that's the World card here. What's ending? Huh? A love relationship. 
This is Soulmate Twin Flame Energy. Um, but this is also a third party coming in between, right? So could be could be a love relationship, could be a third party. Clarify the lovers. Yeah. Ten of Swords, ending again, ending one cycle, beginning another. This is betrayal. This is being lied to. This is being stabbed in the back. Why is this Ten of Swords here? It's like I could just keep... <laughs> Why is this Ten of Swords here for Taurus? Ooh, because somebody walked away. I told you, this is a past relationship. And I feel like... Whoever this past relationship is, is ending. Is that correct? Okay. Is ending a relationship because somebody walked away. Either they did or somebody else did because of betrayal. So tell me about the star card. Wow. This is marriage. This is family. Um, this is loyalty. This is happiness. This is the ultimate, right? This is... Taurus, you could have even dreamed of this. You could have been wishing for this. But in any case, whether or not you come together with this person, there will be healing that takes place here. Now, Ten of Pentacles is marriage. For some of you, you could have been married to this individual. It doesn't have to be because this is just somebody that you could have had abundance with and happiness with. But it is the card of marriage, so I have to mention that. Tell me about what's hidden. Ah, the Empress. Okay, this is a mother, or it could be a Taurus or a Libra. And the Knight of Swords. Okay, what about this Empress? Oops. Ooh. Some shit just fucking blew up. Oh boy, seven of pentacles. Whatever it was, something blew up. And it's surrounding this empress. Could be, I don't know, it's, it's the mother of a child or it's a Taurus or a Libra. But I feel like it's associated with this person that's coming to offer you something. Okay. Okay. Whatever this is, this relationship, what's hidden is, hmm, this is weird. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Yeah, there was some, there was not balance in this relationship. So be careful, Taurus. Be careful that this isn't hidden from you, that this isn't something that they're hiding, that they're not going to be, that they're going to be breadcrumbing you, essentially, because that's what the Six of Pentacles is. Now, this is clarified by the Two of Cups here, okay? And this is Soulmate Twin Flame Energy. We do have the Seven of Pentacles here, and that talks about putting your energy, deciding where you're going to put your energy and time and planting seeds, okay? But the Six of Pentacles, why is the Six of Pentacles here? The Knight of Pentacles. Be careful of this offer, Taurus. Ace of Pentacles. Okay? Because if this person was breadcrumbing you in the past, uh, I'm not so sure that this has changed because of the High Priestess here. It's hidden. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. The Emperor. It could be an Aries or a Taurus that's coming back and offering you this love. They are on their way. We have the Chariot here, and that is the card of Cancer. Could be a Capricorn with the Queen of Pentacles here. We also have the Knight of Pentacles. But like I said, either the relationship they're coming from blew up because of this um, imbalance in the relationship. Okay. And they're not telling you that. Perhaps you don't know about this relationship, but you do now. Um, or what's hidden is they're coming back to say that they want to invest time in you, but this is what you're going to get. So I would walk very, I would tread carefully, Taurus, tread carefully, all right? I'm not saying don't listen. I'm not saying, you know, you have free will, but I'm just giving you a heads up on the feeling I'm getting. What is your advice? Hmm, five of swords. What is your advice? 
What is Taurus's advice? Page of Pentacles. I mean, sorry, Page of Wands. Well, Spirit's saying be optimistic. Make sure that you're emotionally balanced. Okay. Um, and be careful of lying. This is the liar card. Just saying, Taurus. Okay. Eight of Wands. Keep a lookout for a message. Some for, 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 form of communication. Okay. All right, Taurus. I hope this resonates. Please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, the info is in the description box below. Have yourself a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.